Hi, welcome folks, it's raining food today which is obviously not true. And together we gonna explore how to make the best of what seems the worst idea. Ganyu is not a must pull. Disclaimer. Stay until the end of the video for a showcase of what works best. First thing first, the build is as follow. The actual ATK stat is with Bennett buff. I use Skyward Harp since it's for a melt Ganyu. You want a good enough ratio for consistency. And a lot of monster does not have a weak point. 4 pieces wanderer is the way to go for melt. But it's one of the hardest to farm that rely a lot on luck. Which is one of the bad thing with Ganyu. Ganyu is the best DPS by far, with high multiplier and no stamina cost nor cooldown on her charged attack. What could go wrong? The initial hit didn't crit. Even if I'm at 5171 crit rate, which can be after 2.5 second charging arrow, a huge DPS loss. The bloom crit but didn't melt, which can be happening if you play a shielder, like Noel C4, Zongli, if you have his column too close, Thomas, Chinyan, if you miss your rotation with your animal on a boss, or any other sub DPS that can interact with fire. And that is why you need a shield. Interruption. From the current roster there is only one, yes, only one character that fits perfectly the shield role and fourth slot of this team. Yanfei C4. If you don't have her OR don't plan to build her full HP and ER percent. Melt Ganya will be not as worth as everyone is talking about. And that's a crit miss on Bloom. AKA why do I play Ganyu if crit is for whales? It happen a lot, and if you charge 2 second for nothing then you are going crazy at some point. After that point I decided to go for using Ganyu as a support for the team instead of a DPS. Which is one of her good aspect. Forty one K Melt Bennett every two seconds, yay. With Ganya you can maintain the cryo status pretty easily and with an animo it's a good combo. Ganyu is still a great unit and if you like her style and play style just go for her. Everyone tend to oversell this character which is why I come up with this video. Once you get the grasp of what works and what doesn't, you can be certain if the character is worth your primo gems. If you have the prerequisite like good wanderer traps, Kazuha slash Venti slash Sucrose Bennett and obviously Yanfei C4 build as Tank Fei, link in description below, you are ready to get the best of Melt Ganyu. I'm gonna review the freeze comp Ganyu soon so stay tuned for the next video. To close this one let's see what you can obtain if everything goes well in a fight.
すぎ貸せよこの仕事は排除するべきですねはっ天に目せ<笑>任せてくださいマイルはっよっはっせいこれはっせいはっそれそこくらいもみちがうみんなは俺がもいや I hope those give you new idea how to build your character and I wish you the best in TVET. And as always, may your wish give you 5 star.